up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and I'm really excited to be giving you uh, a nice slide lesson with the iconic intro. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that I've tuned my guitar into the most standard slide tuning, which is called Open E. So at the end of this video, there's links for the Open E tuning. Uh, there's a link for a beginner slide technique lesson. Um, so look for those. Um, and I also have a lesson on the progression for this song as well out there on this uh, new YouTube channel of mine, Marty Music, which I would really appreciate you subscribing to. So thanks for that. But enough of that. Let's zoom in and uh, learn this uh, iconic intro. Here we go. Uh, we got our slide. We want to line it right above the fret. Unlike regular guitar playing where you're in between the metal frets, you're right on top of it. Another thing is my middle finger and index finger are lightly muting the strings behind, behind the slide. And then the final step, and this is all elaborated on in the uh, basic slide technique that there is a link for at the end of this. Um, the other thing is I'm either hitting the single notes with my thumb or my index finger. When I'm hitting it with my thumb, my, the rest of my thumb is muting the strings above it and the rest of my fingers are muting the strings below it. So you have to mute when you're playing single notes with a slide, you have to mute all the strings that you're not playing a single note of. So um, I pluck strings with my index finger, and so then I would be, for instance, if I'm on the G string, you know, the first two notes, my thumb is muting the E, A, and D string, my index is hitting the G string right here, and then my middle finger and ring finger are muting the B and high E. So that there's a lot of technique involved to get this going. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with the 11th fret of uh, the G string and then go 11 to 10 and then slide back. So we slide from 10 to 11, 10 back down to 8. So 11, 10, and then start on that 10 slide up, back, and back. Then I go all the way down to the 6th fret. So watch this. So I go all the way down to the 6th, and then 8, 10. So check it out. 11, 10, and those are whole steps between the 10, yeah, you got the 10, the 8, and the 6, and the 11. So then we're going to use our slide technique to do it. You're always kind of gently gliding in and back. There's no frets involved, so you're going to hear it's, you know, the hear the tone sliding up and back. So 11 And look, that right hand, it's muting E, A and D with the thumb, B and high E with the middle and ring and my index is just hitting that G string. So that's all you should be hearing. Um, I believe I said in the intro, but this is the open E tuning. So then we go back down to the six up to the eight. So here that is again. So the next move starts on the 8 of the G to the 6 slide. So 8 to 6 slide. 
So, so far, I've only used my right index finger for all notes on the G string. Now I'm going to use my thumb and mute everything, but now my thumb on the, that D string, and it's going to be... So eight six seven eight on the D with the thumb. We'll put that all together. So the next move. So I'm playing the ninth on the G, then slide down to the eight, then eight on the D, then eight on the A. And as I have to move my thumb to the to that A string which is tuned up to a B now, but I just call it the A string. I'm shifting the muting, so I'm always muting with my thumb and the rest of my fingers. And even when I'm playing my thumb on the note, the deeper part of my thumb is muting that E string. So we have nine, eight, eight on the D, Eight on the A. So let's do everything from the top. So that little move there is 7, 8, 10, 8, 10. And so that final little lick there, and then the repeat is almost identical, a couple little changes, but almost identical. We're on the 10 of the high E. Then the, t so 10, nine, then 10 on the B. 10, nine, 10 on the B. And then I'm sliding up from 9 to 10 on the high E. And on that B string, I'm hitting my thumb. So on the high E, it's index. On the B, it's my thumb. So...
you slide into that 10 of the high E. So the second half starts the same way. But then it cuts it off. So instead of do dee do 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 it's just do dee do do So 10, 11, 10, 8. And then this part's the same. So here's the second half. You know, it's almost identical. So here's that second half. Let that ring out. So we're right there on the eight, and then eight to six. Seven, eight on the D. This thing's the same, which is nine to eight. And this is the same. But then finally we do this, and it's just a little, kind of a little tag. So 10 to 8 on the D, then with my thumb I'm hitting the 10 on the A. And everything else is muted, and then finally, so I slide it back to the 8 of the D up to the 10. into the into the uh, song so here's the whole thing slow Second half. There it was. Thanks for uh, hanging out, spending some time with me. I really appreciate the support, people. Thank you. Thank you for uh, subscribing to this YouTube channel of mine. And also uh, check the links at the end of this video for uh, other related videos, such as the open E tuning uh, and a beginner slide lesson to kind of get some techniques going. And uh, just appreciate your support and hope to see you in another video real soon. Take care.